Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be going over my debt update for the month of February. So let's get started. All right, you guys, it is time to update you all about my debt. Um, as you know, I've been focusing on my last student loan with Great Lakes. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the numbers. All right, so as we can see here, this is my overall debt since I started back in 2019. Um, towards the end of 2018 and the beginning of 2019 is when I started my debt-free journey. Um, I've been following the Dave Ramsey's baby steps. Um, and we'll get into those baby steps in a second, but I'm on baby step two. And so far I had a total, I believe this is 20 debts. So one, two, three, four, five, five medical bills, two credit cards. So that's seven, three uh, private student loans with Discoverer, that's 10. One school loan um, for my university, that was a Perkins loan, 11. Then I have, uh, or had, I should say, eight great lakes loans um so that is what were we at 19 and then my 401k loan makes 20. um i still have my one student loan with great lakes loan number five so as you can see these are all my debts 20 debts and the starting balances for all of them and i have the interest rates here and then as you can see all of the 19 so far are paid in full with my last loan with student with Great Lakes loan number five, that balance started at $7,867.38, which means my debt-free journey started at $89,025 with 29 cents. Last month in January, we know I had about $6,300 left on the account. This loan is still covered in the government forbearance, which means I'm not accruing interest at this time. And last month, I did make a payment of $2,199.32. Feel free to check out my uh, debt journey playlist if you are interested in my journey previous to this video. And then that left me with the remaining balance of $4,120.54. So that is my starting balance for February um, for that loan. So Great Lakes, loan number five, starting balance was... $4,120.54. The APR is zero, as I mentioned. And now we can just get into the payment I made for this month. I did get paid two times, so I did make two payments. And let's just look at my um, paychecks one and two. Those videos will be linked down below. So we see here from paycheck one, I made a payment of $1,174.74. Plus on paycheck two, I made a payment of $1,168.41, which totals $2,343.15. So I was very, very happy. I was very, very excited because that clearly put my balance at if we subtract the 41, 20, 54, that put my remaining balance at $1,777.39. So that means I am $1,777.39 away from debt freedom. And I am so excited. When I first calculated this number, I was like, oh yeah, almost there, about to be debt free. I was filling all the fills. And then I decided, why not just go ahead and pay it off now? Use the money in my savings account because you guys know I do be saving like I'm about to, <laughs> like I'm saving for, to save my life. I do save um, money here and there. Um, so I did go ahead and pull this money, the $1,777.39 from my savings account to just go ahead and pay off the student loan so I could be done with it forever and out of my life. So my minimum payment for this month was $4,120.54. So my now ending balance is zero and I cannot believe it. I was so excited. Um, and this all occurred on February 22nd, by the way. And I want you guys to keep that date in mind because I will have not a story time, but I will have to update you guys at a later date. So Two things occurred on February 22nd. 
Um, so the first thing is I paid off my student loans. I am debt free. Woo 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 debt free. And something else happened. So I'm going to tell you guys that story at a later date. Um, so my total debt paid off, as we mentioned down here, $89,025.29. Percent paid off is 100%. I cannot believe it, you guys. All I can say is for anyone that's starting out in their debt-free journey or, hit, or still in their debt-free journey, Take it one day at a time, one month at a time, one dollar at a time. Every little payment adds up. You do not have to feel like because you're not making thousands of dollars of payment progress a month that you're not doing enough. The fact that you're even, you know, paying attention to your debt, keeping track of them, track of them month to month is part of your progress. Every little cent or dollar you put towards your loan is part of your progress. Little progress is still progress. You know, it might feel like you're moving real slow, but eventually it's going to start snowballing, which is probably why Dave Ramsey came up with that concept of the debt snowball method. Um, but yeah, every little every little dollar counts and it all adds up. So just stay consistent in your journey and you will see the day that you are debt free. Because I'm telling you guys, when I first looked at my debt in 2018, I didn't think there was a way, especially when I looked at my eight um my eight student loans with great lakes because as all you know they show it as one big lump sum even though it's broken down into individual loans so at that time i was looking at fifty four thousand dollars versus them individually and i just was like there's no way and and in 2018 i forget what my salary was at that time but it's not what i'm making now and i did not see the the light at the end of the tunnel i ain't seen none of that i was like ain't no way i was just focusing on my medical bills credit cards and my private student loans i didn't even have the 401k loan at the time so i wasn't that wasn't even on my radar but i was like them great them loans gonna sit there until you know either <laughs> i die or you know they get forgiven like one of the two was gonna happen but, you know, with consistency, anything is possible, truly. So I'm just bringing out my old planner to show my uh, debt tracker debt tracker progress. So this is my happy planner that I um, used previously. And this is my 7x9 Erin Condor monthly planner. And the kit is by um, Romina Rosa, by the way. And she's linked down below her, her sticker shop. So here is the, matter of fact, let me zoom out a little bit so I can open up the whole spread. All right, so for anyone that's unfamiliar or is interested in Dave Ramsey's debt-free baby steps, these are the seven baby steps. Feel free to pause right here so you can read them. I am, well, I was, excuse me, <laughs> I was on baby step two. Let me go ahead and check that off for y'all and I'm gonna do it real slow. Baby step two. I can't believe I am checking off that box. Y'all, I'm not on baby step two no more. OMG, like, wow. I'm not on baby step two anymore. It kind of just sunk in. Meanwhile, we're, we're, we're in March. It's what, March 2nd now? <laughs> Dang. I'm feeling the feel is all over again. Okay, so I'm off baby step two. I'm on to baby step number three. And we'll talk about that when we get there one thing at a time. We're just going to focus on celebrating the completion of baby step two. So baby step one was completed back in December of 2018. Um, let me see if y'all can see that. Yeah, December of 2018. So like I said, I've been on my journey for a while. It's been a solid three years. Saved my little thousand dollars and was like, woo, woo, moving on to baby step two. And at the time when I started, I was only at 74,000, but my Perkins, I mean, not my Perkins, my 401k loan is where the additional 15,000 came into play. So my overall total was uh, $89,025.29. $20, I update a tracker in the back to show the full amount. So these are all of the, you know, loans and, and debts I had. And then the last one was right here, Great Lakes loan number five. So now I can mark that off and say paid as of 2 22 And again, remember that date, y'all, because I have a story for y'all later. 
Okay, so this page is done. Oh my gosh, like, whew, I remember making this tracker. Oh my goodness, like, uh, it's done now. Y'all, I'm a, the ones that's still on your journey are about to start. It's so worth it at the end. It don't feel like it when you're coughing up $89,000 to some institution that you owe or wherever you owe your money, like in whatever amount. It don't feel like it in the moment. But baby, let me tell you, when you're done, you're done. <laughs> when you're done, you're done. And you're going to be so freaking proud of yourself. So stay on your journey. And don't feel bad about taking a break neither. I just want to point that out too. If you feel like you need to take a month, two, three months, six months off to just deal with whatever life is throwing at you, take a break, but just do not stop. Take a break, but don't stop. Okay. So again, I'm just showing y'all my deck because this might be the last time y'all see it. <laughs> Cause I don't think I'll need to update you guys anymore. So I, I think, um, I don't think there's going to be a deck tracker update for March because I don't want to just keep going over my deck with y'all because, you know, it's gone now. So I'm about to be all brand new. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just playing. But, uh, uh, yeah, so look at this. This is my medical bills, my two credit cards. I still have these two credit cards, by the way. I usually just put like a couple of transactions on them throughout the year just so they don't automatically close due to inactivity which can happen by the way um but yeah i still have these two, these two credit cards their balance is not even worth mentioning because again i keep it pretty low and pay it off just so it doesn't close um because you never know you might you know for emergencies or whatever and my plan is to keep them until i fully fund my emergency fund for six months and my plan right now is to get rid of them once i have an emergency fund but who knows because you know they're not hurting me i'm not abusing them I think if you are disciplined enough to manage a credit card, I don't see an issue. I think it's just, you know, something you shouldn't do if you feel like you can't control yourself with swiping your card and, you know, racking up debt. If you have that issue, then don't keep credit cards. But I'm pretty disciplined and, you know, I still have them. But they've been paid off for a long, long time. Um, here are my three Discover loans, um, my three private loans with Discover my Perkins loan tracker. And then here is the debt free countdown. Let me go ahead and color these bad boys in. Finally, right? Like finally get to color these in. And this is clearly not the right shade blue, but that is okay. We are not going to complain because today is the day where I can finally say goodbye to debt at least these student loans and credit cards and medical bills. I think that's the main debt that I had was credit cards, medical bills, and my student loans. I can finally say goodbye. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this day has finally come. Like, look at me coloring these in. I remember when I made this tracker as well, like all up here and stuff. <laughs> And look, I'm at the very end. Oh my gosh. I remember too, like towards the end of 2019, we, my boyfriend and I was having some financial setbacks because things for his job changed drastically. So I was taking care of almost everything. And again, my money was a lot different than what it is now. So it was a struggle and I wasn't able to make those big payments like I was planning on doing so I can, you know, get out of debt faster. And I was really upset. Like I was stuck on this page, I think for like, I want to say like three months or more. I was so upset because I was just like, dang, like, you know, when you set your, your debt payoff goals um, for, you know, the months ahead, you're like, okay, by this time I should be like here or whatever or whatever. And that didn't happen during that, that time, that small time frame when, when I was juggling everything. So I was stuck on this page and I, it messed me up for a little bit cause I was so upset, but look, look at me now I'm done. I'm off this page and I'm off this one. So even when you have minor setbacks, they are just minor just reset, do what you got to do to, to get back on the saddle and just keep riding this thing out. 
because your destination is approaching. So here are the Great Lakes loans individually. So let me go ahead and color this one in. I'm going to uh, speed up this one. Okay, y'all, so I did not do the best coloring for this one. And I forgot to pull out my um, paid off sticker. So I'm going to do that off camera just because I am filming this video right before work and I am cutting it pretty close. So I need to just go ahead and move on. Sorry, you guys, my um, timer came on. So it's time for me to go ahead and leave for work. So I'm just going to go ahead and hurry up with this last portion. Um, so basically, I'm just coloring that little last dot. And I am going to cross this last loan off. This page was just to represent all of my uh, debts. It does say 19 because, again, I added on my 401k loan after I made this page. So I technically had 20 debts, but okay, we, we get it. <laughs> And then for this page, this is the debt-free land that shows the 74000 again, before the 401k loan. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed through this coloring. And I do apologize for getting a little sloppy because <laughs> I'm out of time and I have to get to work so I can't be late. Um, so I'm going to just color that a little better towards the end. So as you guys know, this is the 401k loan. And then this is the new tracker that I made to account for the full amount. So I'm just going to go ahead and color this in quickly. Because I was dying to do this with you guys before. Um, I definitely should have did this like last night or something. But y'all, I'll be tired after work. I'll be like, yep, after work. You know, while you're at work, you have energy. What you going to do when you get home? And ain't none of that happened and it's been going on <laughs> for over a week because like I said, I paid this loan off back on February 22nd and it is March 2nd right now. So it's been an entire week and I was just like, let me, let me, let me get on my grind and um get this video up for you guys. But my alarm did go off so I am coloring very sloppily or sloppy right now. So I do apologize because I don't mean to rush this amazing, amazing achievement. But like I said, I got to go to work so I can make that money. All right. So I'm going to just go ahead and close out right now. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be sure to see y'all next time. Bye.